So we carry on from the trigonometry where we looked at finding the missing site. This time we are looking at finding the missing angle. So what they usually do is they give you two of the sites and they ask you to find the angle. They could ask the question in two ways. They could put the angle inside the shape for you to find. Or they could write it in this way. So here they've used letters. And I will show you where the angle would be when it's written in this form. So those are the only two ways they could ask the question. Remember in the first video, we wrote these three terms down. We said this means sine theta equals opposite to by hypotenuse. Cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. And I said... If you are confused on what you are looking for, whether to divide or multiply, then what it means is, if I'm looking for the opposite side, and you put your hand on the opposite, then it means you are multiplying. If you put your hand on this, then it means you are dividing. If you put your hand on this side, it's still dividing. Okay, so that is how you determine what to do. Then, the next thing I said was, whenever you have a question, you need to make sure you label all of the sides of the triangles. And I said, in labeling the triangles, the side that is directly opposite to the right angle is always your hypotenuse. It doesn't matter whether in the diagram that is the short length, because most questions, they do not measure the length. So it's drawn, they will tell you the question that is not accurately drawn. So it doesn't matter even if that's short, as long as that side is opposite to the right angle, that becomes your hypotenuse. So in this question, this side is our hypotenuse. Now, how do we determine the opposite and the adjacent? This question, they haven't put the angle inside for you. So, you go back to the question. It says find angle A, C, B. In maths, whenever you write an angle using three letters, then it means the angle is at the middle letter. The middle letter is where the angle is. So, it means in this question, the angle says A, C, B. So that means the angle you are looking for is this one here. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So now that you've been able to identify where the angle is, the opposite side, the O side, is always the side that is directly opposite to the angle you are looking for. So here, this is our O. And that means this becomes our A. Then the next thing you have to ask yourself is, which of the three sides have the question giving you the numbers? So, has the question given me the number for the adjacent side? No. So that means straight away, I cannot use any of these that has adjacent in it. So, here it has A in it. Can we use that? No. no. Here it has A in it. Can we use that? No. no. So straight away, you put a cross on these two. So the only one we can use is the sine one. So you write it down. Sine theta, sine of the angle, theta means the angle, equals, if I cover this, it means opposite over what? Hypotenuse, so O over H. The rest is put in the numbers. Which one is our H? 10.5, and our O is eight. eight. So sine theta equals eight, Divided by 10 point what? Five. Five. To find theta, this time on your calculator, we have to do what we call the inverse sign. So on your calculators, all you have to do is press the shift button and press the sign. Once you do that, you should see this symbol on your calculator. You should see that on your calculator. So to find the answer to this, we would say theta, the angle, equals the sine inverse of 8 divided by 10.5. You can do this straight away on your calculator. So just press sine. The open bracket sign would come. As soon as you press the shift and the sign, you will see this appearing on your calculator straight away. Use the fraction sign on your calculator. The fraction sign is like... A small box over a small box on your calculator. Then put in the numbers. The top number is 8. The down number is 10.5.
close the bracket, press the equal sign. And what is the answer there? 49.6. We came to one decimal place. 49.6. So we have 49.6 degrees. So the angle is 49.6. Are we okay with this? Yes. Now let's look at this one. Again, let's label our shape. This side is directly opposite to the right angle. So that is hypotenuse. Thank you. Now, we need to find the angle before we can know which side is the opposite or which side is adjacent. So let's go back here. It says find angle A, B, C. So which of the letters has the angle we are looking for B. B because that is the middle one B so A B C so this is the angle we are looking for once we know that then we can name the remaining sides so this side which is directly opposite to the angle is your O then this will remain our what A then the next thing to check is do we have any number for the opposite side? No. no. So straight away, let's go to our formula. Any formula that has O in it, we are not going to use that. So here it has O in it. So can we use that? No. no. Here it has O in it. Can we use that? No. no. So this is the one that we are going to use. So straight away, write it down. Cos theta. So cos of the angle equals your adjacent over your hypotenuse. So, let's put it down. Cos theta equals our adjacent is 12. Our hypotenuse is what? 13. So, straight away, theta will be equal to the cos inverse of 12 over 13. So, press the shift. Press cos. Put this there. And... What is our answer? 22.6. 22.6 degrees. And that is your answer. So it's very easy if you are finding the angle. There is no need for you to use Pythagoras and find this side. You don't need it. Just label them, take your time, and choose which of these three you are going to use. Once you can do that, all you have to do is divide, take the inverse function. So if it's tan, tan inverse of whatever they gave you. And in that sense, it becomes so easy in finding the missing angle of any um, right angle triangle shape. If this type of question comes on a higher paper, this will be worth only two marks because it's easy to do. But we are going to look at difficult questions based on trigonometry, finding the missing side and the angles combined together. Some of them are worth five marks and three marks. So we're going to look at some of those questions which are difficult than this and help us to understand it. So we're going to make a different video on those particular questions that I mentioned because that might take a bit of time. So if we add it to this video, it'll be too long. So we're going to solve about four GCSE type of questions based on finding the missing angle and then the missing side in a separate video. So make sure you watch that video as well to help you to understand them. Thank you.